Hello, it's me again, Lynn Fife, with another exciting project for you called a Painter's Field Production Guide. The purpose of this little book is to help you improve field production by at least 20% or more. Some of you may already know me, but for those of you who don't, let me give a brief introduction to myself. Again, my name is Lynn Fife. I'm known nationwide as being a speaker and a seminar presenter for the painting industry. I'm also a business consultant. And the good thing is, I'm specific to painting contractors with over 40 years experience in this industry. Most of the time when I do consulting, my clients want me to help them with either the profit structure and estimating business side of their company, or the other thing is to help them with improve their employee production. This video is about employee production. Let's take a look at the current picture. Most of the time, employees show up for work, put in their eight hours, and go home. According to a national survey, on an, on an eight-hour time card, the average employee only works six hours. And another thing is the employers feel they have to constantly babysit their employees in order to keep their production up. And even after they tell the employees time and time and time again how to do something, the employees keep slipping back to doing what they've always done. Keep making the same mistakes over and over and over again. Let's take a look at why this is the case. First of all, mentally on the employee side, they're only working for a paycheck. They really have no reason to do otherwise. For some reason, they have forgotten how to earn the extra money that they would like to make. Well, is there anything we can do about it to help them get their mind in gear and be more productive? That's where employee production training comes in. It is important that your employees learn, if they want to raise, they have to be more valuable to their employer. Tied to that word value is the word production. Their value is measured by their production. What does a typical painter do? What can they do to be more productive and to be more valuable to their employer? They also need to learn that it's really not about working harder, but it's about working smarter. They also need to learn all the tools that are out there and tricks of the trade that will actually help them become more productive. So we have come up with the answer to help you accomplish that training. This is where the Painter's Field Production Guide comes in. Let's take a look at the, the contents of this book. First in line is the employee attitude. We take a whole chapter helping them remember that their value is what's going to help them be successful in getting more money, staying on when it comes time to laying people off, and getting more overtime. The boss is going to pick the more valuable employer employee when it comes time to passing out overtime. Once we get their attitude in check, then we jump into the content of paint chemistry, the related fa failures and how that can be a non-productive thing. We get into surface prep, masking, sanding, and even the levels, the four levels of surface prep, making sure that they understand what the estimator allowed for that project and not to exceed that, only to do what the estimator calculated. We get into brushing, rolling, aerospray, spray, HVLP spray, basically all the hands-on application of paint on the surface, along with all the cool new tricks of the trade and tools that are out there to help them increase production. A very interesting thing, brand new to the industry, is what we have called the production expectation chart. This is a chart that will tell them exactly how many doors you expect them to paint per hour, how many frames per hour, how many square feet per hour, so that they can know exactly what's expected of them. We also have a section for trade math to teach your employees how they can become aware of their own production, their own value. And finally, a very important part is the foreman and the crew leader section where we teach the foreman and the crew leaders how to run the job in such a way that they are training the employees to utilize maximum production techniques. A very important part of this book as well. Here's a sample page just to kind of give you an idea of what's inside this thing. This is the page that has prep, one of the pages on prep, it has the California patch, and as you can see we have pictures for clarity and step-by-step -step sequence of everything that needs to be done. This is true with other systems and techniques throughout the book where we have pictures and illustrations and step-by-step -step instructions on how to get the, the work done in the most effective and most efficient way. Now, when you get this book, you have a couple of options of how you want to present it to your employees. Option one, let's just give it to the employees and hope they get it. Of course, we don't recommend that. The other choice is to have a training meeting with all of your employees. This may work for some of you. Gather them all together, hand them the book, and actually go over it with them page by page, helping them understand exactly what's expected of them, and let them know this is now part of your company policy. 
Huge benefit here, option number three, Lufeith, that's right, I will come to your company, train your employees for you. It takes a full day, only one day of consulting fees. Also, in that time, I can meet with your employees and let them teach them that this is not something the boss wants you to do. This is something that is good for yourself, for your own personal future, for your own career. Very effective training. Uh, the other choice here is just do nothing. And by doing so, you're just going to keep getting the same results out of your employees. How is it said? Oh, yeah. If you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to keep getting what you're getting. Hopefully, we won't be making that choice. Now, how to order this fantastic book. You have your choice here. We have the hard copy. Hard copy for eleven ninety five each. You want to get one for each one of your employees and get that going with your company as soon as possible, either training them yourself or if you want me to come out there and train your employees with you, then that book is included with um, the consulting fees. In other words, all of your employees can get a copy of that book as part of the uh, of the training fees. Now we also have a special format. It's called the ebook format. Three hundred ninety nine bucks. Now I know that sounds like a lot, but you're going to get this in MS Word format. That means it's unlocked. You can edit it. You can change it. You can add a whole paragraph on brace of blasting or floor epoxy systems or whatever you want to. Once that is done to your liking, you can print as many copies as you want. We're even going to hook you up with my publisher where you can get the copies in paperback version for as little as three bucks a copy. Mathematically, it works out to if you're going to be purchasing 40 copies or more of this book, it's less expensive to do the ebook format and print as many as you want for yourself. Now, please pause your screen right now, and in so doing, you can write down the website you have in front of you and the phone number. So go ahead and hit pause on your screen and write that information down. I'll wait for you. Okay. Welcome back. Uh, now, please give us a call if you have any questions or go to the website that will give you full information on this book and how the training and the consulting works. Uh, any other questions you may have, just go ahead and give us a call. We'll be more than happy to answer a question. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video, and I'm looking forward to helping you.